Notebooks user interface is organized into workspaces and tabs. Each workspace represents a separate simulation with three operation modes Disabled, Interactive or Cache. All the group's custom channels, simulation settings are unique to each workspace. Workspace specific properties can be accessed from the settings menu or by right click over the workspace selector area. Those dialogs are displayed here just temporarily, but you can pin them so they will remain visible. To display all workspace properties at the same time, use the workspace menu option. The Noteworks editor can be customized, user can choose to display the background grid to change font, si font size or other options. New tab can be added if you double click on the empty tab area, or you can right click and choose options related to tabs. To rename a tab, double click on the tab and enter a new tab name. Each tab has its own node area where nodes are created and connected into networks of nodes. There are three ways to create a node. You can right click on the empty area and choose a node from the list. At this point there are 140 nodes that are used for particles, splines, cloth, soft body dynamics, rigid body dynamics, custom voxel fields, fume effects sources, voxel by voxel control of the simulation, integration with render engines such as Arnold and Fstorm and so much more. Once you get familiar with nodes and their names, second and faster way is to press the tab key and type the node name and choose from the list. Most of the nodes with common functionality contain the same keywords for easier navigation. For example, most of the particle generator nodes have the gen in their names. So, if you press tab key and type gen, only generators nodes will remain in the list. Third way to create a node is to drag a connection from a pin and then press tab key to create a new node. In that case, connection will be created automatically. To change connection connected pin, hold the ALT key and drag connection from one pin to another one. Once the node is created, we can change its title by double click on the current name and type the new node name. Each node can be enabled or disabled manually in the exact the same way as the tabs. However, some nodes require certain pins to be connected and unless those pins are properly connected, node will not execute. Those pins are colored in orange. Nodes that generate particles will have a particle group output pin in the header. The header will be colored in the output particle group color. You can add new particle groups, arrange them and change group properties. In most cases, the system will automatically create connection to the generator particle group pin and such connection will be hidden to reduce clutter in the editor. You can see this connection at any time if you hover mouse pointer over the pin. As you have noticed, each node has input and output pins. Each pin represents a data type to be used on per particle basis. If you right click on the pin, we can change its data type. Some pins will allow data type change, but most of them do not. Nodes can be copied between different tabs of the same workspace. However, copying nodes across workspaces is not permitted. Nodes can be copied if you select node and then shift drag node. Another way to copy nodes is to right click over selected nodes and choose copy paste options. Majority operations have the undo system in place, so you can undo parameter change, pin connections, node type operations and so on. It is possible to insert certain node into existing connection. Nodes such as math, compare, clamp, rem, remap, logic, lerp, follow, discretize support this type of operation and it can be done in two ways. If you right click on the existing connection and choose one of the nodes, it will be automatically inserted. We can also create a node and then drag the node onto the existing connection and it will be inserted into it. In some situations users will need to add custom channels to their particles. To add custom channel, right click over the workspace selector and select the custom channel option which will display the dialog. Right click on the custom channel dialog and create a custom channel. You can change its name and data type. As soon as you add a new custom channel, it will be automatically added to the get particle group and set particle group nodes. Execution order of the nodeworks is from left to right and from top to bottom. In this example we have a setup with one particle and one float custom channel. On each frame we set the value of channel to 1.0. The next line of nodes 
multiplies the custom value with 10 and the final line adds 2 to the final result which is now 12. So if we swap those two small networks of nodes we change the execution order. So this time we're going to add value of 2 first and then multiply results with 10 so the final will be 30. I hope this Nodeworks basic video will help you to get into the Node-based world and learn this new powerful tool.